Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're checking out a new Chromebook today from Asus. This is their C202SA and this is a ruggedized Chromebook designed for education, but us civilians can get them too. I'll put a link down below in the video description so you can check it out. Uh, this model we're looking at today is $200. There's also a uh, model with a little bit more memory that goes for just a little bit more, but this is the $200 entry level point here. And I should mention in the interest of full disclosure that I purchased this with my own funds. A lot of you were asking about it, so I went out and bought one for you. Uh, so all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review. No one is reviewing this content before it is posted and I have no financial relationship with Asus either. So let's get into the hardware here and see what this is all about. So this is a ruggedized notebook, uh, Chromebook, uh, designed for education. And that means it's going to be a little bit heavier. It's 2.65 pounds or 1.2 kilograms. And it is surrounded by rubber here. So it's designed in case you drop it off the desk or something uh, to most likely survive the fall. So within reason, it should uh, give you some good protection there. And they're really, again, gearing this towards schools where these things tend to happen quite a bit. Uh, they have a lot of uh, rubber feet here, a lot of real state for these rubber feet here so it really doesn't move on the desk too easily so it's not going to be uh, all that easy to knock it off a desk by accident so it really does uh, feel very sturdy and rugged. Uh, what's also nice continuing this rugged concept here is that the screen uh, will go all the way to the back here without cracking off so they have thought about uh, the issues of kids maybe opening up their laptops too far and breaking them. Uh, this one will go all the way down to this position. It won't go back further than that but I think for the most part it's pretty reasonable to uh, expect that uh, the, the thing will at least go back this far and not break on you. Uh, there is no touch screen here though, but you do again have uh, some flexibility of how far that screen opens up. And it might be useful too if the kids are standing up or sitting down, uh, they have some, uh, some leeway with the screen here. Uh, for the most part, it's kind of what you'd expect out of a $200 Chromebook, an 11.6 inch, 1366 by 768 display. It is a TN display, which means it's not as sharp or as vivid as those IPS displays we've seen on a little bit more expensive Chromebooks, but it is in line with what we've seen from other Chromebooks at this $200 price point. It's got an Intel uh, Braswell Celeron N3060 processor. Again, a very similar chip to what's in other low-end PCs, uh, both Chromebooks and uh, Windows machines. This one has two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and 16 gigabytes of eMMC flash storage. There's another version that has four gigs of RAM and I think a little bit more storage as well. Uh, they do say you get up to about 10 hours of battery life on it. I'm going to put that around eight to 10 hours based on my usage. So enough to get through a school day, but it's not going to be as much battery life as we've seen on uh, some other Chromebooks out there, but uh, certainly good enough, I think, for what they are uh, aiming this particular laptop at. I am very pleased with the keyboard. It's very solid feeling. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, nice uh, large keys here, good key labels on them. It is not backlit, uh, but the keys are very nice to type on. And because you have such a thick, big case here, uh, these keys have a lot of travel to them. You can see how far you can push them down here. So really good for kids who want that tactile feedback. They'll get it on here. And if you do like a keyboard with deep travel, uh, you will get that here. Really nice keyboard. The trackpad is also very nice for a $200 computer. Uh, it doesn't feel all that cheap. It is very uh, sensitive and responsive to me as I'm using it. Uh, it is a click pad and I turned off the tap to click, which is on by default, uh, just because it was a little bit too sensitive in detecting my taps, but I am very sensitive to that myself. But if you like tap to click, uh, it will have that uh, enabled by default when you get it out of the box. Uh, this also has a full HDMI output for connecting external displays. You got a USB 3.0 port over here, a headset microphone adapter here. Uh, what I like is uh, about the uh, SD card slot here is that it will take the card all the way in and it'll sit relatively flush to the side of the computer. So if you are uh, looking to bring some media along with you or something, you have uh, a good way to store that card uh, while you're using the computer. A lot of these Chromebooks have the card sticking out. This one uh, doesn't have it stick out too far. It is spring-loaded though, so if you knock it by accident, it might pop out a little bit, so you definitely want to be careful with that. Uh, it's got stereo speakers, not the best sounding speakers you'll ever see, but they're on each side here. A uh, little tinny, but you do get good stereo separation out of it. On the other side, you've got a USB 3.0 port, the other stereo speaker over there. Uh, your power adapter gets plugged in over there, and there's a Kensington lock over here, and there is uh, uh, some indicator lights on it too. So one is a charging light, the other is a power light, and over here you have a Wi-Fi light too to let you know if the Wi-Fi is on. Now one of the things they talked about in the marketing materials is how easy this is to service, and I did try to unscrew everything and get into the case, but I wasn't able to figure out a way in without damaging it. So I'm going to reach out to ASUS and see if there's a service manual or something. We'll do a follow-up video to see uh, how we can work on this, because I did uh, advertise this as being something that's easy to service and replace components on, and I'm eager to see uh, what's in 
inside of this thing. So I wanted to uh, get in there without breaking something because I do resell these later. So we'll do a follow-up video a little bit later. They didn't include any service materials in the package with this. So I have to reach out to Asus and find out more because I didn't see anything on their website either. So that is the overall hardware. Let's take a look at its performance now. I uh, will do our usual barrage of a few different tests and see how it holds up against other Chromebooks. All right, so let's take a look at some of its web browsing performance here because that's primarily what you're going to do on a Chromebook. And we'll go visit the uh, New York Times here first to see how everything comes up. It is performing a little bit faster than I remember other $200 Chromebooks feeling. And it could just be that Google is continually optimizing Chrome OS to get uh, better performance out of it. But it really is feeling a little bit faster. And you'll see on a benchmark in a minute that it actually is a little bit faster than some of the other ones that we have looked at lately. And we can go in and click in through another article here and see how everything comes up on that. Uh, so it's a pretty nice browsing experience, actually. And I think uh, for uh, kids using this for education, they'll uh, really get a good uh, browsing experience for the kinds of things that they'll do on it. It does have wireless AC, so it supports uh, all the latest wireless protocols, too. So you'll get some good snappy performance out of that. Uh, we'll go visit my YouTube channel now and see how it does with video. And I found, as uh, we've seen on a bunch of other Chromebooks at this price point, it does fine at 1080p at 30 frames per second like this video is right now. Uh, but it does struggle a bit when you get into 4K video. So what I'm going to do right now as this is playing uh, is pull up the stats for nerds and we'll see on this 1080p 30 frames per second video if we're getting any drop frames. And it appears as though we're not. We had a couple at the outset here, uh, three frames drop, but the rest of it uh, seems to be running just fine. So 1080p 30 is going to be fine. 1080p 60 and 4K, that will be another story. We'll pull up my 4K video real quick. This is a problem inherent with the Chrome browser, uh, not with uh, the hardware that it's running on. So you can see we're getting a lot of lag here on this 4K video. Now, remember, we're running with what is essentially a 720p display, but we're testing whether or not it can handle the bit rate of a 4K video file and get it down converted to that uh, window size here on the screen. And it's really not able to do that. But again, this is a problem that I've seen in Chrome across most of the platforms we tested on, including Windows. But if we were to take this same processor and run Windows on it with the Edge browser, uh, we'd see that video playing back very smoothly. So it's just a matter of, of, of Google getting uh, Chrome optimized for the chips that are inside of these Chromebooks. So I would imagine over time we'll see a better video playback performance moving forward. And on the Octane benchmark test, we get a great score of 8,714. Uh, so that puts it a little bit ahead of the uh, Dell Chromebook we looked at not too long ago that's also being marketed at the education uh, environment and is also ruggedized. That was running with the prior generation Intel chip. Uh, so it does a little bit better than that. And it also does better than the Asus Chromebook Flip that we looked at a little while ago uh, running with an ARM processor. So this actually is performing very well for what it has uh, under the hood. I'm quite impressed with uh, how well it is performing. And I think, again, it's probably the result of some optimizations that uh, Google has been doing. But I also wouldn't put it past Asus, who makes a really good hardware that performs well at very reasonable prices. And this certainly uh, continues that trend. So I'm very pleased with this Chromebook. It's really nice, uh, very rugged. It feels uh, really comfortable to hold, especially for kids that might have a habit of dropping things. You got a nice rigid uh, case here that has uh, got a good grip to it, really good grip on the desk as you're moving it around as well. And uh, not the prettiest thing to look at, but I think uh, uh, function here is maybe a little bit better than form, uh, especially when you want to prevent damage to a fleet of Chromebooks you might be buying for a school. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.